Um, you can't really get to the bottom of things in the world if you're traveling with somebody else. You can have a good time and you can certainly find out a lot and you can have a great journey of, of one kind or another. Um, but the essence of being in a foreign environment and becoming a part of it is that you have to get into their world. They, if you've got somebody with you who's talking your language uh, and, and who is um, distracting you, it's more difficult. It may even become impossible. Um, the thing about traveling alone is also that it's very much, usually very much easier for you to get um, invited into strange places and into strange situations. And that's another part of, a part of it. I'm not saying this couldn't happen with two people, it, it can, um, but it's generally easier with one and and the decision to do it is is much easier the the decision to that, that you have to make constantly whether we, whether to go this way that way whether to stop to start whether to you know whatever so much more difficult if you've got somebody else to to think of <coughs> so really i think um the the best journeys um, are made alone. The other, the other important factor, it's, is which has more to do with what you, with what's happening to you than what's happening to the rest of the world, is that if you're traveling alone, you can afford to change. <coughs> if you're with somebody who knows you very well. It's really quite difficult to, to one day to become somebody different. They say, "Well, but you're, you know, you're the. You always like coffee in the morning. Why, why, why aren't you drinking coffee? Um, you, 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 uh, uh, you need to wash. You look dirty. Um, you, your, your breath smells. Um, you know, all sorts of things that, private things that about you that this other person knows." Um, make you always fall back on this self-consciousness. But the, the, real, the real gift of my first journey to me was to lose that self-consciousness so that I could, um, I could afford to become somebody much simpler, um, much less involved in how I was looking or sounding or wh whether I had a, um, whether I was shaved or not, or, or uh, wh whether I <clears throat> looked like a, it, it didn't matter what I looked like. Um, I was sufficiently content with myself because I had managed to get there on this motorcycle and that was really all that mattered as far as I was concerned. <clears throat> so. Um, I, I, I didn't care what people might think um, because they would see me for what I was and they did and, and I never can ever remember anybody coming up and saying something like oh you're, you're, no, you, you're no good, your, your nose is too pointed or you're, you've got narrow shoulders or you're, you're all the things that I might be sensitive about if, you know, back home in, in London or France um, never became a part of my internal dialogue at all. <coughs> so as a, as a result of that, your, your relationships with people become quite different. And, uh, and that's where the beginning of, uh, of, of a real growth process begins. You start to you start to, uh, to to take your own reality for granted and a real sense of confidence that you have an absolute right to be on this earth and 
and uh, and with these people, and they and they respond to that immediately, and you and you have a an almost instant connection that doesn't depend on um, some kind of transaction that you might be making. Like you know, you I, I I've dressed up to make myself look good to you, and now it's your turn to do something for me, and and. Uh, it, 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 all of that just goes away and things fall into your lap and uh, and from then from that point on you see people much more clearly you have a much better idea of who's good and who isn't and, and actually pretty much everyone's good <laughs> the, 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 the other thing about turning up turning up like that is that if if you are there because you want to be there and it's and 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 it's obvious that you're doing something that you really want to do and it's very personal <clears throat> people behave really well and and you bring out the best in them and they you know it can last for days people will behave in a, in a way that is much better than their normal behavior. <laughs> and I know this is true because they're very thankful for this opportunity to be better people. And I found this out when I went round the second time and met people that I'd met the first time. And they were, and even after 28 years, they, they were really emotional about the, the fact that that they'd met me the first time and here I was again and I'd, I'd made it done, done something to their lives which at the time I didn't realize at all but I, I, know, it, I know it was so. So, so you, do good, you do good as you go it does you good, everything is bet gets better um, and for that reason, in a way, it's much easier to say goodbye to people as well. I, I'm amazed at the number of people I've said goodbye to. And, and some people can't say goodbye at all. I think here in Spain, nobody can say goodbye to anyone. It goes on for hours. <laughs> but that's a bit of a joke. It's <laughs> only um, chista. The, the, the difficulty of, of, uh, of the people have of saying goodbye is often that they're afraid they will never see this person again. Right? And, that, and that often was the case for me. But, but I always had this feeling that they were, they were going to be part of my life. And, uh, and I never lost that feeling. Um, so, so it wasn't really goodbye, it was just ciao, arrivederci, um, till the next time. It was uh, a very nice feeling and, and sometimes it came true.